it's five o'clock on a Tuesday. Today is the 29th of April. It's been about 40 days. 28th, not the 29th of April. And we have ourselves a truly ghost city. This city. How you like the ghost city? It's creepy. Creepy, right? Creepy, yeah. You ever look up ghost cities of China? Yeah. There's 50 of them. Really? 50 ghost cities in China. New York is now a ghost city, for real. It's so weird seeing like this. Where are you gentlemen from? Right here. Uh, Good for you. Good for you. But it's so weird. Yeah. It's Seriously. So After you guys, I'm going to make the left. I'm gonna, right, go, this way. go ahead, go ahead, go. He works in New York. It looks like he has Jersey plates. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to move this thing back and forth the way I would like to. I'm 
I'm gonna be stuck uh, just leaving it stationary. It's not gonna move back and forth like it did before. Or at least it's not bouncing around while I'm driving. famous Bryan Park to the right, I mean to the left. This was my mother's favorite store to the right, Jack's. And Jack's is open. You go, Jack. It was? Oh, yes. My mother loved her some Jack's. And Jack's is like a regular guy. He's like, he used to own two or three of them. That store goes all the way to the other side of the block. They're paying like a million, not a million, but you know, I think he owns this, this store, he owns the whole building. But he got it back in the 80s or 90s when it was nothing, it was worth nothing. And he's... Why does she look better? They are a job lot. No, Jack, she loved Jacks. My mother loved Jacks. But she, job lot was her local spot. This was when she came into the city. She would come to Jack's and just like, you know, spend 60 bucks on all little things she didn't need, made in China. <laughs> yeah. A buddy of mine works in this building here. And what's interesting about this building here, this one here, let me go, let's see if I can get it to go. Look at that. The owner of this building has 300 cars on like the 15th floor. He has a special elevator that drives his cars up to his floor. And he also owns like two, or, he lives in two or three floors with his children. The owner of this building here, 101 Park Avenue. And a buddy of mine was doing some sort of securities or something for this company and he told me that the owner lives on like two or three floors in there and it's an office building but he lives in the office building with his children his adult children they never see each other and then they have their own entrance 
where they drive their cars to the 15th floor. He has 300 cars on the 15th floor. 300? 300 cars. Of his? Of his, the owner's personal vehicles. 300 cars. All kind of cars. Uh, and you can't even, you just, you know, just tons and tons of cars on, in wow. that building. Pretty amazing, yeah. This world we live in, boy, is full of have and have nots. They all do the same thing, they drive. Yes, they do drive, but it's not about driving. It's just like my friend who has all those hot sauces. It's like what? How many hot sauces do like you think 300. that was? 300? That's I mean, like, like a 50. thousand. Oh. It's like a thousand hot sauces. It covered the whole entire, that whole entire room. All that area, you know how much? It, like it covered like 800 square feet. Yeah. More than that, it's covered a thousand square feet of hot sauce. You know, some people just into collecting, into having. They want more, they want more, and they can't stop. And when you have an unlimited amount of money, where most of your money is just a, just a number on the screen. It's not even real money. Yeah. It's just a number on the screen. I mean, don't get me wrong, some of these people have stacks of hundreds but the problem is the money gets old they keep changing the money so many times that you know now you now you now you got old money with little faces like Jay-Z said I've been spending hundreds since they had since they had small faces was it with you that I went to the um to the burger joint and I gave them a, a $20 bill and it had the small face and the, and the young lady she was like, sir, what is this? And I was like, that's a 20. Oh, yeah. It was a 20 from like 1982. <laughs> from like 1982. Yeah. Brand, brand new crispy $20 bill. And she didn't know what to do with it. So the money keeps changing. So you can have stacks and stacks of money. It doesn't mean anything in 30 years. They're going to want to know where you get the money from. You go to the bank and try to transfer that money. They're going to say, where you get this money from? Well, they're going to run the serial numbers. And... and, and it's all about control. That's why the cashless society is coming. Yeah. It will be cashless. Everyone will be, all their mon all monies will be, at least attempt, they will attempt to try to, to control it. But the thing about money and control is that people use what is a commodity. What you can, Who determines what a commodity is? And this right here is the Madoff building. This is where Madoff was at. He had three Whoa. floors here. This is the lipstick building. Very famous building right there. Oh, that the lipstick Whoa. building on 53rd and 3rd Avenue. That's, well, I don't even know what to say. Pretty amazing building, right? It's such a beautiful building. Yeah. And Madoff, the guy who robbed all his friends. He did? Yes. All his so-called friends, people that thought they were his friend. Everyone he knew invested in his company and he robbed all of them. What a loser. And then it was because he was a Jew. So he was he was robbing all Jews. They were like, oh, he's a Jew. He got to be trustworthy. They, they couldn't imagine that a Jew would rob another Jew. Especially he was an old Jew. So they're thinking, this old Jew, he really cares. He's, he's hooking us up. He got the hookup. And what he was doing was just totally scamming everybody. Such a shame. I don't know much about that building, but that was built in the 90s. Most of these buildings here were built in the 90s with these terraces, these little tiny terraces. Yeah. yeah.
you for taking this opportunity to look at New York's ghost city where I'm barely touching the brake. <laughs> I'm barely pressing onto the brake. And I'm moving around the city freely and to see all the places that I like to go to all closed down while the big corporations are allowed to stay open with impunity. Do you know what impunity means? No. Well, that's the word we gotta learn today. You have your tablet? No. Okay, let's, let's get that word done. Let's break that down. Let's understand what's going on. Let's broaden our vocabulary. Thank you for watching. Boom.